Greetings everyone, I am Westy Wave, and today I'm going to be opening up this package here today. What this package contains is the Deluxe Class Last Night Bumblebee from the 2017 Mainline. That's all there is to say about this little package. So without further ado, let's crack it open. Here we have the Bumblebee out of the packaging. Now first I'm just gonna take a quick look at the things he comes with. He comes with his instruction manual, which is nice to know, but I'll probably use a video by like MGO or someone about the Transformer, because videos are usually a lot more helpful than these instruction manuals. I guess with steps in there and such. And it also shows off the weapon storage on the back. Although it looks like it doesn't have a weapon storage and vehicle mode, but oh well. Not the biggest problem in the world. And he comes with his weapon. His little blaster here. I actually asked the seller if he has the blaster just to be sure because I didn't see it in the photos. So I'm very glad that he does indeed come with his little blaster. See there. Got a couple of oh, chips on the paint, but nothing to really cry about or anything and the mushroom peg isn't broken or anything, thank goodness and here is B himself as we can see he isn't transformed properly like at all he's not tapped in in many spots cool not entirely sure but I think his rims were painted in the film, but I'm honestly not entirely sure. Funny story about this figure actually, regarding me. I used to see this figure in a store where someone opened him up and started transforming the figure. And like the blister was completely gone and his little weapon was still there as well. It was mostly transformed, but like the leg section wasn't finished, like this whole... Front half was already transformed in the store. But yeah, after a while, this figure just kind of disappeared. All of the other last night figures that were running away inside that store. So yeah, really interested if someone actually bought the Bumblebee or if it got stolen or something. I mean, considering the fact that I live in Romania, I'm guessing it's the latter. But anyways, I'm gonna look up a video on how to transform this dude. And I'll be right back as soon as I've transformed him up into robot mode. And here is Bumblebee in robot mode. And he honestly looks pretty damn good. I really like the way they made this figure, honestly. I'm glad to have gotten it because I got for it dirt cheap. It also isn't missing a single component. As every single little piece. Not even these pieces here are missing. Although I did notice that has like a little crack on one of these windows on the back here. I think it was on the, this side here. It's kind of to see, but I think there's like, you can kind of see there, there's like a crack. You see right there, there's a bit of a crack there, sadly. You can feel it. I can feel it with my nail. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I doubt that it will break off anytime soon. But I do find it kind of funny that they made his pupils, or well, his eyes this big. I mean, it looks kind of goofy like he has those puppy dog eyes or something i'm guessing that these are the puppy dog eyes that drift was talking about now, of course a common issue of this figure is that the feet are rather loose yeah i mean i mean it stays in somewhat okay on my copy doesn't appear to be modified in any way but yeah i don't think i'll be modifying this figure anytime soon I think it's a bit better on this foot. Eh, only by like a little bit, maybe. Okay, it honestly looks very good. Of course, the way you install this little cannon here is just you remove the mushroom peg. While you remove the arm via the mushroom peg and swap it out with this. 
But yeah, this Bombay figure was actually pretty influential on the future of Baver's Bombay merch. That's regarding the designs besides the Age of Extinction one. And ones that turn into modern day Camaros. Unlike ones like... Or well, it did influence some older type Bumblebees, as in like the Clunker Bumblebee and those ones as well. I do have an example, that being the Studio Series number 87 Dark of the Moon Bumblebee here. You can just see how similar these are. This was the very first Bumblebee that was designed this way. So like you could see here that the wheels go up here and such on the back. So I can see these little pieces hang off the back on the doors. And they did change up this whole design to some extent. Like they simplified it on the Studio Series figure to some extent you can see. His arm is on ball joints now as you can see here. The chest still moves, I and mean, these little car pieces can still move. Still has the waist swivel and all that. They did make him a bit smaller too, as you can clearly see. They changed the transformation a bit on the top, as you can see on the back mostly. Like this section doesn't like fold up at all. Yeah, it's interesting that they straight up re-released this figure in the Studio Series 9. Which looks kind of odd compared to the other Studio Series Bumblebees because it's much bigger. They did simplify the legs a lot on the later versions. And you can see they changed the legs so that the back of the car actually goes to the outside of the legs. Instead of the inside. Okay, on this figure it just looks... Oopsie, don't fall over dude. There you go. On this figure, it looks kind of odd to me. Like, it just looks kind of naked, I guess you could say. Like, there's a piece missing. That's kind of how it looks. So, I definitely prefer the cable being on the outside. Because, I don't know, to me, it just looks more normal. Yeah, the feet got nerfed quite a bit. That just looks weird. Not entirely sure which was more accurate, though. If the wheels were on the inside or outside of his feet. Also not certain about that. But yeah, and you can see here as well the eyes are a lot smaller on the head sculpt of the studio series. I personally think this looks a bit better because it looks a little goofy on this mold. And yeah, they did make the paint a bit better and match the plastic a lot better on the later figures because on this one yeah, the painted parts don't match the best. I mean, on camera it looks okay, but person looks pretty bad, especially on the head. It just looks so weird. And of course, you can see the pieces on the thigh. The section here has changed quite a bit as well. But yeah, it's still a pretty interesting thing. And of course, the arms here are one solid piece. About this yellow section can be moved, as on this one, that's static. It's one solid piece with the arm. However, the hands can be moved, whereas on here, the hands are one solid piece. However, they severely nerfed their cannons, because of course, we got the cannon from the last night figure, looking very good. And then, for the studio series, we got this. Like, are you serious, dude? Like, this is just such a downgrade. Just looks terrible. No paint on it or anything. It just looks stupid. Now before I end the video, I want to quickly mention a little fun fact about this Bumblebee figure. This is actually the second Bumblebee figure in the Last Night mainline. Because when the very first wave of Last Night Deluxes came out, the Bumblebee in that line, or well, that wave, was this. Which was literally just a Age of Extinction Bumblebee with less paint because I customized this quite a bit. Like the legs had literally not a single piece of paint. They were completely yellow besides the little silver piece on the feet and the back kibble here. And yeah, as you can very clearly see, these are basically just the exact same figure. Very clearly. Yes, because clearly that's what Hasbro thought. 
is not only a garbage figure but a garbage design in general like bro this is just such an ugly but movie design dude the classic version is much better like i really don't get how hasbro thought it would be okay to release this like if you were gonna be so lazy with the very first wave then at least release a bombie figure that looks somewhat similar to this like release a dark of the moon one or something because like that camaro had a spoiler as well just like the last night version that one made much more sense than releasing the age of extinction one like this is just stupid anyways i hope you enjoyed this unboxing of mine and i will make sure to see you all next time goodbye